Okay, so hello everyone. I hope that uh, you are doing well today. Welcome and thanks to join us very much in today's webinar. Um, the webinar we had last week has been a great success. Many questions and a huge interest. We hope that also today we will be able to satisfy your curiosity. Um, my name is Giorgia Rossi and I am the International Sales Manager of Jackson a company who is in the global market of 3D technology solutions since more than 10 years. Um, you are lucky today because uh, I want to be alone. My colleague, Antu, senior engineer and Jaxel technical manager, will describe the success case and uh, would be at your full disposal for doubts, uh, questions and further details. Um, Today's topic is very actual and uh, last week we got many requests about the possibility and the advantages to use a portable mobile mapping system in the urban mapping activities. Um, before starting, I would like to thank our Malaysian partner, Topcon Instrument Malaysia, for the possibility to share this experience with you. Before we begin, um, just some general information uh, about how the web conference uh, will be held. Um, if you have some questions, please submit them in the chat box. Your mic is closed, but you can interact with us during uh, uh, all the webinar time, just writing uh, in the chat box. Um, I hope that the network would be okay today, so I would apologize in advance in case you would have some slowdown of the network. Um, don't worry because the webinar will be recorded for your reference and uh, you will receive it by email. Um, we will have then some times at the end for Q and uh, I questions for Q and I time in case we might not be able to reply to all your questions. Please don't complain. We will follow up uh, afterwards. Let's go quickly through today's agenda. Um, we will have an introduction about the success case. Then we will uh, um, evaluate the needs and the goal. We will talk better about the, need and the needs and the goal of the customer. And we will enter inside the technology used and the workflow that uh, has been applied. Then we will experience some results. And then you will, we will have uh, time for a Q&A for uh, your uh, reference. Um, let me say that uh, uh, urban mapping has never been an easy task, and I think that uh, many of you would agree with us. Um, the continuous growing uh, of uh, different needs and requirements by the end user, like uh, municipalities, construction company, push the market to develop and provide new technologies to get uh, maps, uh, of the urban areas easily and quickly. Um, just think about the fast development and spread of the urban areas that uh, had to get a prompt return in terms of map updating. We will experience together how the mobile mapping technology can achieve the desired results and how Aeron portable mobile mapping system has been the key component to complete the solution for urban mapping application, especially to build the database for facility management at the city scale. So where we are today, um, the activity was uh, done in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia capital, uh, famous for its wonderful Petronas Towers. KL is a big and fastest growing metropolitan Asian city that covers a territory of around 2,040 uh, square kilometer with almost 2 million people. Um, When we think about such a big city, the first thing that would come up in our mind are skyscrapers, boulevard, high-tech buildings, where people have easy access to facilities and existing infrastructures. Um, do you remember the movie Entrapment set around the North Tower of the Petronas? 
this is generally what I get in my mind thinking about KL. But along uh, these modern, stylish uh, and uh, high-tech urban parts, uh, many other areas in the city have uh, an old city plan where uh, cars cannot access due to the dimension of the streets while only motorbike and people can get in. Um, you can find such, such kind of areas not only in KL, of course, but also in many other Asian cities or European cities as well. The activity we are going to experience today has been carried on in an urban canyon. Um, characterized by narrow roads, nearby buildings, almost impossible to access by car. While in the main and bigger streets, a car-based mobile mapping system could be used with no restriction, in these areas, we had to find out another solution. Small, smart, and easy portable. And this is the reason why Heron perfectly fits the goal. And let me consider that today we are focused on an urban area, but what about other limited areas like countryside or rural villages where cars cannot get in? And furthermore, uh, if I would use different mobile mapping system, how could the resulting data can be integrated each other in order to get the complete 3D model? We would like to start entering a bit more in details in the core of the story. So which have been the needs and the goals of the activities in KL? Hi, to speaking. So I would like to talk about the needs and the goals. A national wide company had to implement a digitalization project of all their facilities and infrastructures that spread very fast and are present at uh, every corner of the streets in Malaysia, like electrical boxes, house numbers. And to properly run the cataloging activity, the customer main concerns were first, accessibility, how to access to the areas where only people and motorbike can access, of course, car cannot access. And the second is integration. How to merge data from uh, different mobile mapping systems? Because for the main streets, the Topcon mobile mapping system, IPS3, has been used. And for the more restricted areas, Heron Portable mobile mapping system has been used. And the third one is that the database for all of their facilities spatially classify the information of the facilities surveyed also with the high resolution images for a better detailed definition. And finally, the compatibility is mean to work in the consolidated and already existing customer workflow. So this is the reason why Heron was exactly what the customer was looking for. So here we go. Um, this is Heron Light Color, the portable mobile mapping system used in this activity. Um, why did the customer trust in Heron to carry on the job? Heron is a portable solution, slam based enables to move anywhere and thanks to its unique versatility is especially designed to work in spaces whose accessibility is difficult without the usage of GNSS like Urban Canyon. Fast, professional and lightest in its category, Aeron dramatically reduced the on-site and post-processing activities. Um, Heron has the ability to work in two different modes, um, walking and car based. And by car, we mean bicycle, car, quad, or motorbike, like in this activity. The suggested maximum speed is 30 kilometers per hour. And so the surveyors 
uh, could move almost anywhere to acquire the data. Um, is it portable, both uh, handheld or backpack as well? Aaron lets the surveyor move around freely and easily. Uh, we said before that uh, one customer's prerogative was getting high resolution picture. Uh, Heron can acquire 5K resolution panorama images thanks to the integrated 360 degrees camera. These pictures are acquired in uh, stop and shot mode, so you can shot where you desire, you shot and you go again or respect a fixed interval like uh, every 20 or 30 seconds automatically, no need to stop. This is very important because you can avoid excessive amount of data storage uh, where you so do not need RGB information, considering that the Aeron Slam works in real time. Uh, furthermore, you can get the images only of the object of your interest to be later visualized and check. No time consuming calibration or initialization procedures to carry on. Heron acquires data in continuous with a maximum range of 100 meters. The other customer's prerogative that we mentioned before was the data integration. Uh, the reconstructor software that is provided with Heron, thanks to the automatic registration algorithm, can easily integrate data from different sources uh, like TLS, uh, UAV, mobile mapping, and then reference them in the same global coordinates system. But uh, so, how was the operative uh, workflow? The project, due to its extension and uh, spatial characteristics, has been subdivided in uh, different survey acquisition with uh, two surveyors group. The main and the big street of the city where cars could get in have been covered by one surveyor group with uh, the Topcon mobile mapping system and the second group moved around with uh, Heron to get in the area where vehicle cannot access it. So mostly mostly the village area. So with Heron, uh, we did a test like um, uh, 10 minutes, one kilometer length and uh, using, using motorbike. Uh, so more or less in uh, 25 minutes, we, uh, uh, with uh, 25 minutes, we can process the entire one kilometer length and we, the surveying time was only 10 minutes. And uh, now I would like to show you a video that we've done with the survey activities in uh, Kuala Lumpur. So the Heron is uh, very versatile. Uh, you can walk handheld uh, thanks to the backpack configuration. You can walk with uh, only one operator. This means saving reports and money, taking only one surveyor. The user can move around without stopping and uh, moving objects like people, cars, bikes, and then be removed during the data processing. The Heron data is then first processed in Heron desktop. The Heron owner software enables to adjust, adjust, adjust the territory and once done, the data merged between car-based system and Heron, as well as the global georeferenciation have been carried on in Reconstructor. And uh, to satisfy the latest customer prerogative, the items database creation, we have moved all the complete project to Orbit GT, the well-known software to manage and share the mobile mapping data. Let's now we can uh, discover together how the data look like in uh, Reconstructor. Uh, in Reconstructor, we have imported both mobile mapping data. At first, the Topcon mobile mapping system IPS3, the green one in uh, this uh, presentation here, that uh, was already georeferenced in a global coordinate system, then the Heron one has been merged on the IPS3 
thanks to the powerful automatic targetless registration tool without the need to use any control points or targets uh, the ips data has been used as uh, the reference scan and after the automatic registration process error data is merged with the ips one and is is also georeferenced that is how we integrate the 3d data so let me quickly show you some of the 2d resulting maps that uh, i think it could be very interesting for you the 2d maps blueprint can be automatically generated in a reconstructor they can be oriented as you like and here we have extracted horizontal maps based on the customer need uh, as you can see from the trajectory that is the red line you can start and stop the survey whenever you want no need to close the loop if you see the starting point and also the ending point of the survey they do not overlap what customer like the most to get things easier is that the panorama image images are already synchronized with the point cloud and the trajectory so in order to stick pictures on the the cloud the customer do not have to do any kind of post process but how to find this picture look at the blue dots there are these are the panorama images in 5k resolution that have been acquired during the survey and in the, also in their relevant position that you desire during the survey and having these panorama images already stick on the point cloud sensibly improve the data visibility it not only helps to better visualize some details that in the point cloud could be not so clear but they also provide information about the maintenance conditions of the surveyed facilities so you have both spatial and conservative information of the objects if you want to look at an object in, de in details you don't have to navigate through all the model you just go directly to the blue dot so now the data is ready to be exported to orbit gt so you you have been you have seen like fast getting the final result in just 40 minutes of uh, surveying and post processing globally we got one kilometer of street acquired with both spatial information and panoramic image and to complete our project let me quickly show you how the project looks like in the orbit gt you move to orbit point cloud trajectory and panorama images the required information will be then extracted both from uh, three point clouds and the images so that back to the office the engineers can uh, build up the company's facility management database if you need to share the data real web, you can use the Orbit 3D Mapping Cloud service. Data can be easily shared internally inside of the company or to find a guest users. As, uh, so everyone can extract their interested data and uh, update to the company's database. Wow, that's impressive how fast uh, you can get the complete integrated 3D data shareable via web. Um, I really want to thank uh, two for uh, this really impressive presentation and once again thanks to our to our partner Topcon Instruments Malaysia. Um, guys, I think that we come to the end. Um, thanks to join today's webinar. Um, we are pleased now to reply to some of your questions and uh, in case uh, we would not have enough time because uh, you seem to have been pretty interested, uh, we will uh, get back later 
by email or you can also contact us um, directly. Uh, of course, uh, I will uh, ask uh, I will ask too to support us, to support me. Sorry, uh, because uh, we have some technical reply, some technical, much more technical questions. So I ask uh, to to uh, help me. Um, okay, uh, how long is the battery life? Um, the battery life uh, is around uh, in between six, seven hours. Uh, so you can really acquire a huge amount of data. Uh, if you have to change the battery, you just, I mean, uh, uh, stop the survey, you change the battery, and then you can continue. So just uh, be sure to have a little bit of overlapping between the second part of the survey and the first one, because in this way you can then uh, merge uh, um, the data easily. Um, I have a question uh, for you too. I would ask your help. Um, yeah. There is uh, no usage of GPS point for this mapping job. Mm, yes, it's right. Because uh, uh, for the main street, the mobile mapping system from uh, Topcon, they, the, the IPS31, they are already have the, I mean, the data from IPS3 is already georeferenced from their GNS or GPS receiver. So when we import IPS data and the Heron data into Reconstructor, and we use automatic uh, target list registration tool in Reconstructor, both data are merged together. So at the same time, we also have the Heron data is already georeferenced due to the use, usage of uh, the IPS3 data, which is already georeferenced. Okay, um, I have uh, I have a lot of other questions for you too, because uh, yeah. the, the guys here are pretty interested. Um, mm -hmm. How do I combine outdoor and indoor data? Um, it's very easy. They just use Reconstructor and uh, uh, with the automatic registration uh, tools uh, without targets, we just need geometry. So we just, you just need to connect the data, the indoor and the outdoor environment uh, by uh, like a, a path of, um, I mean, like a, a short survey with the Heron system. So you can use that kind of short part uh, to connect both data together in the constructor, yeah. Okay, um, I have another question. Uh, there's uh, any possible we can extract the Aeron trajectory and view it uh, in uh, a GIS software? Uh, sorry, can you repeat it? I, I missed yeah. the first part, maybe due to the internet connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, peop, um, the guy here want to know if uh, uh, we can extract the Aeron trajectory and visualize it in uh, a GIS software. Mm, yes, in Reconstructor, we can convert the trajectory into polyline. And then from uh, polyline, we can export the polyline uh, into shape file, or we, we can also export to AutoCAD. And then from that, with the, I mean, the polyline is already included uh, the coordinates, which is already georeferenced. So you can use that exportation to go to GIS software. Okay. Then, um, is Reconstructor available in other language? Uh, for example, Chinese language, I can reply to it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, Reconstructor, um, as you have seen, is the main software that uh, is provided with Heron and um, it is used to analyze and to uh, extract output and deliverables for uh, from uh, Heron data, but also from other kind of data because uh, as to explain before, we can merge different kind of data together in Reconstructor, and uh, actually it it supports uh, um, Chinese language, Japanese, Russian, Italian, of course, and the English one. Um, I have another question for you too. Yeah. Uh, does Aaron support PPK as well? 
for areas where GPS signs are not there or low. Uh, yeah, I, I think that the point is uh, that uh, Aeron is a slum based instrument, so we are not depending. We, we, our yeah, technology right. does not rely on the GPS. So, as the two was explaining before, um, yeah. when uh, one of the attendees asked, uh, uh, here you did not use GPS, uh, and two reply, yes, we did not use GPS because we, we first of all, we uh, does not rely on it. But, uh, um, so it does not matter if uh, the sign uh, is not clear. Um, what do you think, too? Yeah, you're right. We, we, we do not rely on uh, GPS. So, the I mean, the strength of GPS signal is not our problem. Yeah. You can scan yeah. and you can use a payroll system in any kind of area without GPS signals. Yeah, uh, in fact, it uh, it is. I mean, depending on uh, Slam and IMU, uh, so we do not have restriction. For example, uh, in the next week, uh, we can anticipate we will uh, discuss about uh, um, stockpile environment, both outdoor and indoor, and we will experience also this kind of uh, usage of Aeron. And uh, but anyway, as the two has explained before, in case you might need, of course, to uh, your reference or to uh, increase to optimize the trajectory using GPS or also uh, scans because there is also this possibility that uh, Heron have has uh, respect other system um, we can use also scans as constrain to your reference data or to adjust also the mobile trajectory um, then uh, I have uh, other question. Uh, there's uh, any possible we can extract? Okay, this is already reply. Um, sorry, I, I am trying to follow up all the questions. Okay, can we extract features from point cloud from reconstructor? I can uh, leave the floor to you too. Mm, yeah, many thanks. Very, very interesting question. So yes, we can extract features from point cloud uh, from uh, from reconstructor as uh, with uh, many tools and function which are very basic in reconstructor. I, actually, I don't know exactly what you what what you mean about features, but for example, I can give you like a you can create mesh or you can import mesh into your into your point cloud. You can uh, calculate the volume doing measurements uh, and uh, cross section can be very easily uh, generated from any kind of uh, point cloud. It doesn't matter if your point cloud is the uh, unstructured or structured point cloud. So with new tools in reconstructor, you can extract contours lines and uh, um, what else? Uh, volume computation from your point cloud can be. Uh, can be also be done with a reconstructor and features. Uh, yeah, yeah, I I would suggest. The, yeah. I, I if you wanted to discover more about which kind of feature uh, drawing feature uh, you have in reconstructor, um, you can follow our uh, on our YouTube uh, channel. Okay. Uh, we have uh, published some dedicated workflow. I think that the building, uh, uh, the construction, uh, and the mining one are already available, and uh, um, there are some dedicated workflow in which uh, we give. An overview about uh, depending on the different industry field um, about the features that you can extract. So, for example, in a building, you can extract automatically cross sections that can be vertical, horizontal, tilt as you desire. Mm -hmm. Or, for example, in mining, you can extract um, isolines, contours. Or, as well, there are some um, how to say basic drawing uh, uh, features inside reconstructor of course reconstructor is not a cad software but we have the possibility to redraw 
for example, line, polyline uh, onto, for example, um, facade uh, or onto uh, 2D images to quickly get uh, some uh, uh, redraw part. Um, another interest question is uh, um, up to which height of the building Aaron can record the point cloud? I think uh, that means uh, mm, the range of the of the system. Yeah, right. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To if to want you can reply. Yeah, it depend on the range of the system. So I mean the, the sensor. So the range of the sensor is uh, 100 meters. So it it. It means that you can uh, acquire the building with a height of uh, 100 meters. But uh, I mean, if uh, you can organize that, draw survey in a wiser way, we can use it. We can plan the survey and then we can uh, do different survey and then we can connect them together by uh, reconstruct the software. So, I mean, if with the enough reference during your survey we can merge different part of the building so the height of the building could, could be not a big issue for you in that case yeah uh, then um, so it can work in underground mining uh, yes uh, um, yeah it can of course um, I can anticipate that uh, uh, on May 6th we will have uh, um, a webinar together with uh, one of our partners from Russia and uh, they will uh, um, describe an exper the experience of using Aeron in, un in underground mining. Um, of course, uh, we will provide more information, but if you want also to uh, hear, I have to say, a direct experience from uh, one of the user, direct user in this kind of application underground mining on may 6 we will have a joint webinar with our partner from russia uh, uh, i have uh, let me see another question um can the reconstructor do a point cloud classification such as ground and non-ground i leave the floor to two mm. I think, um, yeah, yes, because uh, in a reconstructor, we have uh, the color mapping tools. From that tools, we can uh, colorize the point cloud by different options, for example, like uh, inclination and uh, the antitudes from, for, like, uh, for, well, with antitudes from uh, different uh, axes that you can decide. So, yes. It could be possible that you can do it in the reconstructor. Okay. Um, then a question much more related to the system itself, to the hardware. Sorry. Uh, how many million points uh, per second uh, acquire the laser scanner? Mm, yeah, for the heron light color, is the 300,000 uh, 300, points per second. And uh, for the backpack configuration with the Heron AC1, you can acquire uh, like 600,000 points per second. Okay. Then I think that we have time for the last two questions. Then, uh, of course, uh, uh, we will uh, follow up. So, uh, where I can get the manual for processing using Aeron and Reconstructor from start to finish? Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, uh, um, there, are some, there are both some manual, some video tutorial, and also some. Uh, how to say, a quick guide in PDF, both for Reconstructor and for Aeron Desktop. Uh, some material is uh, uh, available, uh, um, some material is available on our YouTube channel, for example, the video tutorial. If you go to the uh, our YouTube channel, uh, Jackson and Aeron or Reconstructor, you can find some video tutorial. 
um, or we normally provide also the uh, manual of the software. Uh, in Reconstructor, it is directly embedded inside uh, the, the software. But anyway, if you want uh, to have the complete uh, manual material, you can write uh, uh, to us uh, and we can see to uh, provide this material uh, to you. And then the last question uh, that I uh, will ask uh, uh, for two's help. Can I integrate yes. my uh, UAV data with uh, your Aeron data in Reconstructor? Yes, of course. You can uh, integrate your UAV data in, uh, uh, in your, any kind of format like mesh or point cloud. You import your data into Reconstructor and then the, you use the uh, registration tools uh, with targets or without targets uh, inside Reconstructor to merge two, two data together. So it, it's very easy and very simple. Yeah, you can, you can absolutely do that in Reconstructor. Yeah, and uh, uh, just to, to finish uh, about this, I don't provide other technical details because two has, uh, I think, reply very completely. If you want to see an experience of uh, um, uh, UAV and Aeron data integration, uh, next week, uh, as we mentioned before, we will have a presentation much more oriented to stockpile, both indoor and outdoor. And uh, in one of the outdoor stockpile, we will experience um, how uh, we use the, the UAV data and Aeron and why, why we, the customer, had to use Aeron uh, supporting the UAV data. So if you want also to know more about this application between UAV, uh, Aeron and Reconstructor, uh, join us next week uh, to have this uh, uh, experience. Um, I think that uh, yeah, we have uh, um, used our time. Um, I really want again to uh, thank. We want to thank you for the uh, attention and the patience, and especially for the big interest. Of course, feel free to contact us for any kind of further details, uh, both commercial and also technical. Uh, too would be more than pleased to support you. Uh, so, thank you very much. Uh, we hope that uh, uh, you would join us also in the next uh, uh, webinars. And uh, we wish to all of you a nice and uh, hope hopefully relaxing day. And sorry, the very last things, um, you will receive uh, the registration or the recording, sorry, and also um, a sort of a questionnaire, okay? So if you would like to also give your, provide your feedback, uh, how we did, or also some suggestion or, or advice, that would be warmly appreciate also to organize the uh, next uh, uh, webinar. Thanks again. Thanks, Seth.